Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to self-arrest or stop yourself on a steep snow slope using the ski pole. Um, one of the things to keep in mind with this is there are limitations depending on the steepness of the slope and how hard it is, and also how much you practice with this skill. Um, but in certain situations, it could really help um, from getting banged up, scratched or bruised, or, or even worse. Um, I would also mention too that if you are going on to steeper icy slopes, you might consider getting uh, ski crampons, although you also have to realize the limitation of using these. In some cases you might want to just use full-on crampons and, uh, with uh, mountaineering boots or ski boots for maximum security. Uh, also, in steeper, more serious terrain, having an ice axe, knowing how to use it, would be uh, the way to go. Uh, also, if you are in consequential terrain, using some kind of rope system, and obviously knowing how to use it, or going with somebody who does. All right, so using an, a ski pole, um, one of the things that's worth mentioning is that you can buy uh, handles that have a small ice axe. The uh, Black Diamond Whippet is an option there. So that might be something worth uh, considering if you're going in a steep terrain a lot. But otherwise, using the uh, tip of your ski pole with the metal tip on it, you can uh, potentially stop yourself in many situations. And the idea here is you want to get that ski pole close to your body like this, putting your hands just above the ski basket there, and putting the, uh, the shaft of the pole right above your shoulder and, and next to your chin. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do this if you're using your wrist straps. So, if you're used to using wrist straps, it's going to be important to um, get used to skiing without wrist straps or hiking without wrist straps so that you can quickly get your hands here down where you need them so you can get maximum leverage and stopping power. The other thing I would mention is that if you're uh, an avalanche train at all, it's actually also a really good habit not to use your ski pole straps because that's just one more thing that can pull you down if you get caught in an avalanche. All right, so the idea here is whatever position you fall in, as quickly as possible, you want to get that uh, ski pole tip into the snow so you're good, you can stop yourself. When you're learning how to um, do this skill, it's important to select a good spot, a, um, a short, steep slope with a good run out. Also, uh, don't try this when it's really icy. You save that for emergency situations. And you're going to want to practice this a lot and try it without skis and with skis and from all different positions. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for future how-to videos. Thanks for watching.